Hello everybody, welcome back to another mid-journey tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you the new Niji style that released today. It's called Scenic Style. It's right here. I'm going to show you how to access it. I'm also going to show you some of the differences between the new style and the previous styles that were rolled out over the last few weeks and things like that. So first off, in order to access it, you just need to go forward slash settings hit enter like I've done here and then when you do that you're going to want to select scenic style you'll probably on default if you haven't changed it and now I'm going to go ahead and select scenic style also note that I am in my own discord server with only the Niji bot if you're in the regular mid journey discord server it's not going to work the other alternative is on the left side here you'll see that I'm in the Niji journey as well and if I go to this server, the Niji Journey bot is up at the top. And if I scroll all the way down, I can also do it in here as well. I'll just go forward slash settings. And I'm in image generation room seven. You can be in any of these image generation rooms. Hit enter. And when you do that, you'll get the option to change your style from default to one of these other three styles. So keep that in mind. Also, I do have a couple of tutorials and anime tutorials on how to add Niji bot to your own server so you don't have to scroll through everybody else's mess if you don't want to. I'll put links in the description below if you want to be able to do what I'm doing here. Okay, so with that out of the way, like I said, it's forward slash settings, hit enter, and presto, select scenic style. That's all there is to it. Now, let's look at the different styles and what's going on here. Here are some examples of scenic styles. I did four examples here of the same prompt. And here we go. We've got a, you know, a cool looking image here. And what you're going to notice here is compared to the other styles, this one has more of a focus on the environment, which makes sense because this is called scenic style. So it's more scene specific. And what it looks like is if you were a photographer, for example, it's basically like you've moved the camera back or you've changed the lens so that you get more of the landscape, more of the environment into the images. So here are four good images. Now let's look at the previous styles. Compare those that we just looked at here. One, two, three, four. Now look at the cute examples. I've got some cute examples here. You'll see how it, the camera is quite zoomed in or the art is quite, you know, kind of in your face. Also a great style, don't get me wrong. But again, a little different here. And here is an expressive example, one of the other styles that was uh, released just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, pretty cool. Also quite zoomed in. And then the final one here is the default style. If you don't touch anything, you're going to get stuff that probably looks a little bit like this. And it's a little bit all over the place, which is fine. Some, some are zoomed in, some are out. Great. So those are the main differences. I'm going to put links to all of these things in it. So we've, we've covered now all of the different styles, default, expressive, cute, scenic. If you have any questions or if you, if you have any, you know, anything that comes up and you can't figure something out, leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. Enjoy the new style. Thanks for watching.